Yeah. Matt Zena were on here the yeah, other day yeah, yeah. and he said everybody knows Natalie Gavin. Is that what he said? Yeah, he said everybody. He said if you're in this industry, everybody knows Nat Gavin. And I said, well, it's funny you say that, she's on next. <laughs> <laughs> Here she is. Here she is, yeah. Oh. Hi, it's Johnny from Isaac, and we are back in the treehouse for another episode of Isaac Chats. And today, we are joined by my mate, an amazing actor slash actress, Natalie Gavin. <laughs> Natalie Gavin. Hi, yeah. Welcome to the treehouse. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks for I'm coming I'm very happy down. to be here. It's yeah. nice. It's all right, isn't it? It's wicked, yeah. It's not bad. It needs a lot of work, but it's not bad. You do a lot of teaching, don't you? I do. That's where I met you, really. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, so well, I was sat there arguing with Michael. I know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard, is it, really? No, no. He knows how to push your buttons. He does. Bless um, him. But yeah, so how long have you been at Act for TV? About three years now. Oh, wow, how are you yeah, finding yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I love it. Do you know what? I really do. Like, I have a proper passion for it. When you, when you see somebody sort of coming in, just thinking, you know, I might just give this a go. And then you see that little spark in them, and then you just, like, help light it, ignite it. Yeah. Ah, it's a right feeling. Excellent. And when, especially when they go on to do so well Yeah. as well. Um, you feel a part of that process. Oh my God, yeah. Nathan Graham, he started at Apple TV. Um, but he'd, he'd done theatre before, but mm. he'd never done screen. So, and then he wanted to just give it a go. And my God, he's got a healthy career. He's off now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in Corrie. He's in the new family in Corrie. Oh, wow. And he's smashing it. And it's like, it's just such a, I just, I feel honoured Yeah. to be, a, a part, part of, of that, that journey, yeah, yeah, I really do. Oh, go you. So, like, yeah, yeah. Um, did you do any teaching before Act for TV? Or was that kind of like your first real dive into uh, doing some tutoring? I used to do some workshops for kids in Sheffield, mm. um, and I used to really enjoy that. Man, that, that were a long, long, t- like 10, well, six or something with kids. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. hard, isn't it? And then I was like, mm, I like kids, but I think I, j- I want to I wanna work with adults. Mm. Um, Tanya Patel, God bless her, man, she's she's an amazing actress from Bradford. Mm. Um, she sort of put me in touch with Michael um, and App TV. And then uh, it were off from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. So, what what did you? How did you find going from kids to adults? Uh, I just well, it were it were a seamless process. I just knew I knew I'd, I'd made that decision. Yeah. You know, I, I look every now and again. I like working with kids, but I'm not, I'm not like. You know, dislike kids. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. When you know that someone's proper serious about it, and you know that they've got that passion and that hunger for it, mm. I just feel so easy. Yeah. Me. I think it's easier to help harness that. Yeah. Than trying to pull it out of kids that are not quite sure they what it is they want to do. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's kind of nice that you can um, you can talk more direct to adults. Like I found, like I have a little bit of a um, bad mouth with language I don't know why it's just like it's how I articulate myself yeah. and I think sometimes like when you're in a class you can't say to kids like fucking sort it out no, <laughs> no. and it helps, yeah. it's like proven that it, it relieves it relieves stress yeah swearing yeah but it also kind of like it pulls the veil away like I do a lot of covering for loads of different places and like I can see sometimes when I walk in and it's just like look people are going to tell you this and it's fucking bollocks and straight away like everyone's like oh Whoa, yeah, but yeah, then they're yeah. kind of like, oh, I feel quite a little bit relaxed. Like, we're not pulling a veil over people. And I know not only swearing does that, it sounds ridiculous to say, but it's nice that you can feel like you can be really honest with adults yeah, yeah, and just, yeah. you know, tell them about the the rough as well as the smooth in this horrible, strange and fantastic industry. Yeah, it is. All those things you just said. I think when we swear, though, Northerners, when Northerners swear, it's bad. Yeah. Like, we sound terrifying. Yeah. I get you know, it, yeah. like, there's some people that can just F and Jeff and it's seamless, but when, so if I just started saying, I don't know, you fucking bastard, like, it becomes <laughs> yeah, yeah. summit, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah. like, ooh. You can't get away with just nah, casually. Nah. Yeah. For, for fuck's sake, like, I don't know, it, I, I feel like my face does something. Yeah, that so, looks wholesome and menacing. Yeah, <laughs> and plus all the characters I play and, you know, end up that way and yeah. it, like, menacing. What would you say your archetype is then? If you had to... Naughty. Naughty. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like they I'm good at playing naughty. Yeah. Does it link well to your own personal kind of... Me? <laughs> yeah, you know, like... Mm. Not that you're naughty, but, well, you might no, be, I don't like, know. Nah, like that... 
I've recently played a character called uh, Nadine Megatroid on Ackley Bridge. She's by far the naughtiest I've ever played. Yeah. Yeah, proper manipulative. And oh, but I really do enjoy playing them yeah, characters. Yeah, it's not amazing. Lie. Like, you get your, uh, something to get your teeth stuck into, isn't it? It's a part yeah. like that. Cause but it's, you've got to have a little bit of that in you, otherwise, to, to play it truthfully, I guess. But yeah. it's just, when does it ever come out in real life? Yeah. So when you get the go-ahead... Yeah, you're yeah. allowed to do this. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go full hog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm gonna. You won't manipulate. I'll be manipulated. Yeah, yeah. And I guess I buzz off that. Yeah, it is. It's really nice. Like you run into uh, people in real life who you do want, like your characters are able to say, for instance, "Oh, fuck off." Yeah. And in real life, you've got to say that in your head and go. Yeah, you do. Okay. That's so true. Because yeah. why, like. Yeah, you can't get away with it. No, life. you can't. That's what I mean. Otherwise, you get a bad name for yourself. So just build it all up. Yeah. Wait for that and then scene. Let go. Yeah, <sighs> and it's going to be like right. What a rush! So like, I'm a, I've played a murderer. I've played well, yeah, a drug dealer. I've played um, heroin addicts. I've played homeless. <laughs> um, I've played. Um, what else? Yeah, I've always got a knife or a, a knife in my hand or a knife block. I've done that knife block. Nice. I've done a knife. Yeah, I'm just, I just not. Just not a character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. But right now, I'm just. I'm gonna enjoy myself. Yeah. Yes, you should. <laughs> so should you, Harriet. I'm not telling you how to live or all, but it's like you're always behind the window. Watching other people have fun. You should get out more. <laughs> Make the most of yourself. You've got a lovely figure for your age. <sighs> you just need a bit of makeup. And now you could wear it up or something. <laughs> it's a big world out there. One life. Let's go back. How did you get into this then? How did you get into performing? What kind of... This is the main thing, like, with chats, like, what I'm really interested in. Like, thinking about this other day, it's really strange, isn't it? The idea of performing is yeah. quite odd. Like, when you look at it, it's like, I want to pretend to be somebody else and people are going to pay me yeah. to watch that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, quite yeah, odd. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what, what kind of drove you? Did it start off at a young age, or...? I feel like... Please do apologise if this feels staged and rehearsed. It's so not, but I feel like I, I come across this story and because I remember it so well, I, it just seems like I, I say it all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I went to Butshaw. Okay. Um, which was same uh, school, Rita Sue and Bob 2 film. Yeah, thing. I'm yeah. working in Butshaw at the minute, teaching kids. Yes, yes yeah, yeah, yeah. In the yeah. school? Yeah. No, no, it's not in the school. It's uh, in a community centre. Ah, oh, no way. Just two yes, hours yes, away yes, here yes. in the summer. Yes, yes. Love a bit of Butshaw. You, uh, you'll find some gems there. Yeah. Um, and I didn't know what I wanted, no, I did know what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a vet, which is a good job, really, because oh. I'm not very good with animals, so. But when I was a kid, I loved animals. Oh. So I, I'm dyslexic, severely dyslexic. Mm. And so I struggled through school with sort of, you know, Academic English. Side yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. And drama came up and I was like, well, I don't have to do any writing. Like, this is gonna be good. I'll be all right, I'll just sit in the back and no one will bother me. Yeah. So all the popular kids, I mean, I want a geek, but I want like mega popular. Floated under the radar. Yeah, 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 yeah. one of them. Um, so they had this sort of big uh, stage, really, mm. if you like, where we used to have assemblies and the, that's where the drama lessons were. And I used to just go literally sit in the back and go, Jesus, please, do you know, do not pick me and um, I think I got away with it for months and months. And then the teacher, Mrs. Walton, she was called Mrs. Andrzejewski then. She was like, so we need, we're gonna do a five minute improvisation. Um, who's, who's, who's gonna get up? And everybody just turned around and looked at me. And I was like, and when you see a ginger go red, we go red. <laughs> like a new shade of red you've never seen. And, and they were like, get up, you need to get up, you need to get up. So I bullied up, really. Mm. But thank Jesus, I was. Yeah, yeah. So then she says, well, do you do whatever you want? You you know, you've got a couple of minutes to collect your thoughts and mm. then off you go. And I sort of, everybody started talking amongst themselves and I was like, all right. So I looked around and she had like a little desk and she had glasses on rope around her chest. So I was like, 
receptionist. Go there, go there. So I dragged the table into the front and the chair and I took the glasses from around her um, neck and then so I sat there and everybody started going right quiet. And I was like, what do I do? And now we're like proper like shaking. Uh-huh. So I thought, you do do something with this. So then I just pretended I were a nervous receptionist, talking to my friend on the phone, and then I threw myself off the chair, and everyone proper laughed, like, proper belly laughed, and I, and I just, and I was like, what is this yeah. feeling? Like, I felt like I were flying, do you yeah. know what I mean? Getting that reaction oh, from people. What a buzz, what a buzz, and I was like, ooh, I like this, so I wanted to make them laugh more. So I was just sort of like, being a proper idiot, saying loads of stupid shit, and, when I finished, everybody was like, you were well good, you were well good. And I was like, wow. And I can imagine, like, you know, people have got an addiction. Yeah. Like, they chase that. Yeah, That yeah, yeah. feeling. Yeah, that first one. Yeah. I was like, I want more of that. So, um... And how old are you at this point? I think I was like, 13. No. Something like that. And I was like, what? what is this? So I sort of, like, really started to pay attention, you know... I got predicted an E. So in my wait, mocks, is it mocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got an A star. Yeah, in that quite Love short it. space of time, like I played God for GCC. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrapped up in my mum's curtain. Love it. Yeah. Um, I thought this is this is where I want to be. Um, but I didn't do very well in school, so I had no GCSEs, none. Um, I think the closest I got were. A D in religious studies. Um, so I heard of intake. Yeah. Oh, did you go to intake? Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. I just live around corner from intake. No, way, not that yeah. it's that anymore, but yeah, yeah, because that's a big academy, Leeds West Academy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I thought, right, I'm gonna try my best, and I was proper cheeky as well. Like I didn't. I was like I sent him. I just wrote this application, and I found their email am I in am I in am I in you know way before I was supposed to yeah yeah and um, I had the audition and it went well I remember it went well I remember the the room and everything but I also remember thinking intake I, I pictured this big beautiful white building like <laughs> Not with, all. With, you know all these proper dramatic people yeah dressed as wizards and that yeah, walking around yeah <laughs> like yeah. proper envisioned this place and then I, we pulled in and they had like graffiti and all of, I was like, oh, and the, the these right metal place? back gates. I was like, oh, um, but I loved it. Yeah. Loved every minute of it, yeah. Yeah. It used to look like a prison did into like when you drove past it. I was like, what is? But yeah. This but it drew not... loads of people, didn't it? Yeah. Loads yeah. of people. We were only one in area really at the time, wasn't it, that specialised in performing arts. And that's where David Shaw found me. Oh, really? Um, and then he sort of kept me on his radar. I remember his first casting hilarious he's like what do you do oh, i work at bingo a tongue pierced i had black hair dyed it black i'm like uh, work at bingo and goes what do you want to do i don't know really do you not want to be an actor mm. don't I'd know. Love it. yeah i'd like to be but i never allowed myself to believe it mm. to a certain degree do you know because i thought if i do that then i'm setting myself up for a fall which is quite clever, especially for uh, somebody that age. Like, often yeah. we do that, don't we? Like, we think, oh, I'm going to be, my name's going to be up in lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when it in. I mean, you work hard. Obviously, I worked hard, mm. but I just never allowed myself to have that big dream. Do yeah, you know yeah. What my name in lights. Like, I still do it now. We'll see. Like, yeah. that's what I say yeah, all yeah, the yeah. time. We'll see. And every job feels like a step further, doesn't it? Yeah. Towards whatever it is that you're heading to, which yeah. is funny, isn't it? Like, in his head, it's like this cloudy. You do this, and in your way, it's just like I don't know what it is, but it's leading to something. Yeah. I just don't ever want to get there I because don't know imagine what if it you is. do get there, or you realise is this it? Because then it's like, well, where do I go from here? Because when people say, "Oh, you're a, oh, you're famous," I'm like, "No, I'm not. No, I'm, but I'm not." Yeah, yeah, do you yeah. know? And when people say celebrity, I'm like, I feel like that name's changed a little bit. I don't feel like. The word celebrity is 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 what it used to no, be. No, not at all. Like yeah. I feel like it used to. It feels like a dirty word success. to me. I don't like it. It's yeah. a dirty word. Yeah, it's like not. if anybody says the word celebrity, I'm like. Ugh. Yeah, like it's not what it used to be, is it? No. Wait, I thought before it used to mean you know that you were successful at what you did. I don't feel like. I, I don't want to be a celebrity. No, because it's not anymore. Like, 
It's like the whole fame thing, isn't it? Like people say, I want to be famous, but fame is a byproduct of doing something good or infamous is bad. Mm. Whereas everyone's just like, well, I want to miss that bit. I just want to be famous. It's like, what for? Why? Like, yeah, and why? Like, it's odd, isn't it? I think we were talking to um, an actor last night, and uh, and he said um, his younger brother was into sports and stuff like that, and, like mad into it, and then. He went to one of his first plays and he says it's never happened in his career since. He's like 36, 37 now. He walked out of the stage door in Leicester Square or whatever it was. And there were just hundreds of people, photos, asking for signed autographs and all of that. And it was one of his first jobs. And he says it's never happened since, but he said his brother saw it. And his brother was just like, fuck sport. I want to do this. Wow. And he's done it. But, you know, like he was saying to his younger brother, like, that's one in a million and that is... It's just a byproduct of it. It's not a goal. No. Or it shouldn't be. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I feel like you get to a certain level and your life's not your own anymore. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like you, pro- you know, you have to be careful what it is that you say or what, where you go, what you do. Who you talk to. Yeah. It's horrible. Like, it's a life what of paranoia. Yeah, what you wear. What you look like. Yeah. I don't know. I just... I don't do... I, don't, I certainly don't do it for that. Yeah. I do it because... I w- like, I like... I like the idea of being successful. Mm. Like, it'd be weird if I didn't. Yeah. But I just, yeah, that I don't, I don't think I'm that word. Yeah. Really. No, I, I get that. Yeah. I'm authorising your detention in order to search you to understand that. You understand that. What is pencils? A heavy pencil. What is this <laughs> I thing? Don't know. What is this thing? I don't want to know. Don't pencil. Yeah. Heavy pencil. It makes no sense. Talk to like, me when it's pen. Yeah. I don't D- want to know. Yeah. Why would you ring up and just say, just to let you know, you might have it. Don't tell me. I thought that anyway from leaving I the room. I don't want to know. Like, <laughs> yeah. I can't keep hearing this. Oh, I've got heavy pencil. Yeah. And I'm like, what do they mean? They're pressed down on the paper. Yeah. Like, what What visual is that? Like, it's I a just bullshit want, terminology. Pen me. Pen me. Yeah. Or don't. Don't, yeah. don't. That's it. And nice when they ring up and go, um, what, what one that I had? Um, they're really interested. They've moved the filming dates, so can you just block out these two months? And then you don't fucking hear all. Oh God! And it's just like it's a shit part of the process that I think it's really strange, isn't it? Because it used to be commercials they used to do that for. Now yeah. I feel like they're doing it. It got it gets everywhere. Like in any other industry, if you go for a job, obviously you send out your CV, which is the equivalent of us either been on spotlight or sending a self tape and then narrow it down mm. and then you're seeing between you know five to fifteen people for that role i think if somebody comes in and like you know he's part of a really great performance a good meeting and they've traveled a long way to do it i don't think it's that hard to just send a generic email no. to say once you don't even have to write the name in it just to let you know thanks for your time once successful yeah it's not worse than that kind of especially when you think a meeting's gone well and you get told heavy pencil and all this bullshit ah. and then you don't hear fuck all and I've, it's, not, I've not had it have yet. you not had that no yeah, but well. I, I feel like when it does i'd be like can you just not tell me yeah i think yeah absolutely it's not worth I think it's it it's not good for my good for my being yeah. <laughs> I, just don't, I don't need to know yeah living on edge like i've i used to this is why i was saying to you like has that been a process for you like over the years i used to remember when i was young used to go on auditions all you used to think about looking at your phone and then you realise that that is just so toxic, it's Can't unbelievable. It. That's destroy, it, yeah. You destroy yourself. You do, yeah. As a little kid, you're looking every time that phone rings. Oh, is that my agent? Is that my agent? And then it's not. It's your mate asking if you want to play football. And you're like, no, I fucking don't. Yeah, don't ring me. <laughs> I need the phone to be open. <laughs> yeah. Um, the worst audition. Oh, I'll I tell you what I do if I feel like I'm getting like that. You know, if it's a job that you really want. Mm. Um, I just have to do something creative. Yeah. to just take my mind off it mm. so um recently i went to uh like a theater clearance and i got this old edwardian chair for a tenor and i pulled it apart saw how it worked and then rebuilt it holy shit so I, like i have to do i have to do something creative yeah, i just yeah. randomly woke up one morning and i was waiting on a job and i was like i'm gonna make a bean bag <laughs> that's proper random isn't it <laughs> that were like I need to put my creative energy this, yeah. somewhere else oh. um, and it just that 
fulfillment of achieving something when you sit mm. back and go, I, did, I like that, I did yeah. that. It's powerful, isn't it? Like it's, I think it, it, you don't realise sometimes when you're a creative person, if you're not um, expressing that, it's almost like slowly but surely a grip kind of comes on you and you're like, I don't know what's up with me, but I'm tense, I'm tight, and I'm yeah. like, what is it that's going on? And, and you can make out, really. It doesn't yeah. matter whether you put pen to paper and write something, but or afterwards it's just, or... yeah. Just do something. Mm. Do you do read. any writing or? No. No? I don't. I've you never quite. fancied it? I've got an idea that I want to develop. Um, and it's a film. Mm. Um, but I've, I don't feel brave enough. Not yet. Not oh. yet. Okay. I think I will. But the process of that is pretty intense. Yeah. I've seen a few of my friends go through it. Um, I've seen a lot of setbacks and a lot of... Um, it's a different world, knocks. it's horrible. Yeah, oh. um, I don't know if I'm quite ready for that yet. Yeah. But there is something on the back burner, but it's, it'd be devised. Nice. Because um, I like that process. Yeah. What's your worst audition? I'm going to ask you a question now. My worst audition? Mm. Fucking hell, I've had a few. Um, that makes you wince. That makes me wince? Mm. All right, I'll tell you one. So, do uh, you remember... Um, that like this was like an embarrassing moment for me. Go Quite on. good in meetings and like working off at Cuff. And can you remember Plebs? Yes. So oh I went. God, you'd be really good in there. <laughs> yes, I went to Plebs, and um, and I was doing another job. What was it now? I think I had a few apps on Casualty, and Plebs were really interested. Uh, who was it? Is it Jane Ripley? Maybe. Might be. They were really interested. I got a call straight after audition. It went really well, and it were like um and hour in for two weeks. Uh, and it was like, what? So I went and filmed Casualty and I hadn't heard out. And you know, all this pencil bullshit. So in my head, I, I kind of like, I felt like I've got this. And I hadn't done a comedy before and that's what I wanted to do. That's mm. what I like doing. I love doing my comedies. And the longer it went on, I felt like it were getting further and further away from mm. it. And then they rung up and they said, they've decided to do another bunch of meetings, but they want to see you. So I'll come back down and they're going to match you with other people. And I think over those weeks, I'd built up so much pressure in my head. It was a real learning curve for me. And I got down there and I was just so in my own head that the director said, it was something about trimming pubes, this scene, right? Right. And for some reason, like, I just, I could not get, I could not listen to what was going on in the room. Ooh. And it got to a moment where they must have given me a note. And I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mm. fucking completely ignored it. And everybody in the room just all looked at each other. Like, you know, you felt like the saw one out. Like, mm. everyone was just like, did he just fucking do that? And I just went, <laughs> and shrunk to about that Aww. big. And then I walked out, and then and then my dad room went, how did it go? And I went, I fucked it, Dad. I fucked it. So for a, a job that had been ringing me for three weeks, saying you penciled in, and it looks like it's going to be yours, to go back into the room, and all that pressure build up, and I just fucked it. Didn't you feel that you could have gone, actually, can I just read? I nearly walked back in. Yeah. I nearly, I had You're that so moment. Shuddered. Yeah, I had that moment where I was in the street and I felt like going, I'm going to go back up and say, fuck that, fuck that, I screwed it I'm up, let me go in. again. Yes, yes. But it was literally like, it was a moment where afterwards, that moment, I'll never forget it, everybody just all looking at each other without saying out like, and I was like, Oh no. When how do you do you feel that you would do that differently now? I mean if you were new now I'm sorry. I know, tell me about it. <laughs> would I do it differently? Would I you think, just say oh, sorry, I didn't quite catch that? I note. think now, yeah, now that I've got much more confidence, it's that whole thing of in audition sometimes I'll be halfway through a read, I'll be like, sorry, this is dog shit, can we start again? Perfect. And they're like, Yeah, sound, um and then you'll get going. But I think with that it were a few years ago now, what, about ten years ago, maybe a little bit less. And and I think yeah. My life were a bit of a mess then as well, like, you know, like just not getting the jobs that you want to get and you start questioning your own ability and then somebody almost puts it up there as in justification and then it slips away. What about you? You had some shit auditions? There's one that stands out for me. Yes, please share. Okay, so I was proper new to it all. Didn't really know what I was doing, to be fair. Because there's a certain etiquette in there, I guess, in really. Mm. I didn't, didn't know that, didn't understand that. And um, I had uh, an audition where I had to play a young mum and it was Sam Jones and I didn't really understand the whole cast. I, I phoned up a casting director, I phoned David Shaw and asked him to be my agent <laughs> when I, I was in college. It. Yeah, I was That's bold though, that. 16. I got his number and I went, hey, it's me, uh, the ginger one from Bingo. Hiya, <laughs> uh, will you be my agent? And he went, oh no, sorry, um, 
I, I'm not. I'm a casting director. And I went, does that mean no then? Like, I, I didn't, yeah, yeah. What, that meant nothing to me. Yeah. Um, so, so I met Sam and uh, I thought, right, I need, I need to do, I want to do something creative, like, because I don't want to pretend to talk into my kid when I'm actually looking at a fully grown adult. Yeah. Um, he was probably taller than me or whatever. So I thought, I just want to do something a bit different. I thought, I know. And um, I've got, I had a teddy orangutan. Uh-uh. They were about this big. And I put it in my bag and um, I thought, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit it on my knee and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna deliver my lines to the teddy. That's what I'm gonna do. So I got in the room, we had like a little chat and stuff and he was like, all right, okay, cool. Can you, are you ready to read? And I said, yeah, yeah, of course. I said, oh, I said I've done, so, I said, I've brought something with me. Can I use it? And they was like, um, what is it? So I opened my bag up and I pulled my teddy out and I popped it on my knee and I said, am I all right? Do you know just for eyeline? And she went, um, no. Oh, the bitch. If you just want to um, look at the reader. And I was like, yeah. Y- yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> so you had to put your back in. <laughs> you back up and I was like, and she's like, whenever you're ready. And I was like, great so I read and then at the end um, I thought it went all right I didn't I didn't think it did too bad under the circumstances no. like I was shattered inside yeah that's it and yeah. then uh, at the at the end she sort of went to do this but I went to do that and, like full on nearly headbutted little, little her dance like it was so awkward gripped her and she clearly was slightly res- you know resisted. yeah 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 oh man it was ugly it's not yeah it's not I a nice I went and I went and I had to get I got absolutely smashed I, I I just didn't I thought what am I doing wrong like I'm trying to be creative I'm trying to do well like and I just didn't understand it but the thing is you could have walked into um and I got this it is, did you get it I got it you go girl I got it <laughs> yeah That's I got it, it. They, they loved my creativity but at the time I felt felt like she shot it down yeah that was prisoners wives oh my god yeah. it's amazing I love that you've done that like I, I think Doing stuff like that, people really hammer this home and they shouldn't, like, be different. Well, don't be different for the sake of being different. No. Like, don't be bringing teddies into every audition. No. Do you know what I mean? No, don't do that. Like, like, oh, no, no. Gavin with fucking teddies. No, Psycho. don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. That Well, it's not the ticket in that. In, no, no, that's what I mean. But but having that slightly different imagination and, make, and making sure that the material, if you get to have your own choice, is, you, you know, original. Yeah. Don't go for the big monologue that everybody's going to do, that everyone's going to walk in and go, yeah, I've got the most words, so I can show my most ability. Actually, like, fragments, if you just went it, own it, like, yeah. own your meeting. So if you've got, like, a whole script, then maybe fragments of their personality, mm. smash them two instead of, like, one. Yeah. You know, you... Instead of, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Yeah, the, yeah. the syndicate audition, I literally went to town, mate. I had, like... 10 pages, they went, do pick which scenes you want. So I took 10 pages and then they were an amalgamation of different scenes and I just whacked it to pieces, <laughs> stapled it all, printed off another cover, uh, copy and gave it to the reader. Love it. And went, and she was like, what have you done? I said, well, I've done scene two, scene six, scene four, scene eight, and I've put them together. There and that's, you go. yeah, that's how I want to, yeah. I want to present um, myself. Yeah, and I got that. But Amazing. I mean that that that's brave, man. Yeah, it you've is. Got, you've yeah. got, you know. It's all down to who's running the meeting. And I'm still meeting. learning. I'm still yeah. learning. Go. What am I actually brave enough to try here? Yeah. Do you know what's gonna make me stand out yeah. to a certain degree? And what warrants the bravery? Like sometimes it's like, am I doing that just for the sake of doing it? But mm. then if an idea does come and it's just like, no, there's there's good reason yeah, that I yeah. want to do that. For sure. For yeah. Sure, and it yeah, helps yeah. you out. Yeah, yeah. I remember in one audition, it's kind of similar to what you were saying about the teddy bear. There was a scene in. Pram Face. Yeah. Pram Face, BBC Three. Another one that like came close but didn't come yeah, to. Yeah, I went for that. Yeah, did you? Yeah. 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 You're good at that. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and the scene were like, um, I think it were his mate, and he were, he were talking through like, trying to basically shag a bird, and like he's got a playlist for it. So the music goes like, you start off with some Barry White or whatever, and then you go to this, and there were like six songs. So I made the playlist on my phone. Sick. And I did the audition to the playlist. And I had it rehearsed down to the T of, you know, like when I'm changing the track and all of that. Yes, yes. And the person in the audition were like, that's brilliant. Nobody else has done that. I loved it. Yes, yes. So I got the recall and I'm meeting all the producers. And they said, oh, we loved your tape and did whatever. Oh, nice one. So it was the same scene. 
So I got my phone and she went, don't do the phone. And it was like that jarring thing of, all right, shit. Do you know what I mean? Like, put yeah. the teddy away. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. like just a little. It's devastating, oh, mate. Yeah, quickly, recover, yeah, recover. Yeah, quick, quick. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Went back in. And then it is hard to recover because it's there, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, boof. Yeah. It's punch, somebody's punched you no. in the chest, man. And that's the importance of, like, I think for casting directors especially, or whoever's conducting a meeting, knowing how to conduct that like, to get the best out of an actor. Mm. Like, if I were auditioning you and you'd got that teddy bear out, even if I thought the teddy bear was dog shit idea, I think the best thing to do is go, we'll try one with the teddy. Yeah. And then afterwards we'll try one without. Yeah. And that just makes it like, we've both kind of got what we want. Yeah. And yeah. I might see the teddy and go, fucking really works and I didn't think it were gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, saying that, I say that, but you got the part, so. Yeah. I mean, I, I had, uh, I think, another two recalls after that. No. I, Did you not take the teddy? Lo and behold, no, I didn't. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Nah. I love it though. Um, I was shocked. I was shocked. And it, that were a long process as well. That took a long time for me to find out mm. that I got, I think, for like three months in total, or something silly. Oh, God. It took ages. Um, but yeah, it definitely. I still feel like I'm, well, I'm still learning. Yeah. I don't think no one's got it, nailed no. it. Now and as soon as they do, they don't. No. You know what I mean? Like, as soon as somebody feels like they get it, they've. No, you cast the director's name as well. Done that before. So I was that Julie. Julie and... Oh, my God. <laughs> You've done Julie. it again. That I didn't even remember Julie. So I'm, like, in a conversation, and I was like, oh, yeah, so um, me and... Um, and she went, Julie. I don't oh. me, me and Julie were just um, talking about that very same thing. What? You tit. And I always remember who it is that's bringing you into the room. Like. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'll do, I think my um, kind of pattern is just before I walk through the door to say I am here for a meeting I look at the email right you're meeting David you're meeting Julie yeah, and yeah. you're meeting somebody and you walk in and the first thing you need to do is like which one of these fuckers is David or whatever yeah. do you know what I mean yeah 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 yeah. like scan the room and figure it out yeah and say I like I say the name back as well yeah so oh you've got to yeah, if you yeah, put yeah. it out there it's easy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. for sure for sure so be like hi I'm Natalie nice to meet you and all I hear if I'm meeting you for the first time is because I'm like, good impressions. Yeah, Smile. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then afterwards, I'm like, you told me your name, so I have to go, Natalie, nice to meet you. Yeah, and, and I do the same, there. and you'll yeah. be like, oh, Johnny, nice to meet you, Johnny. Yeah, yeah. Well, then Johnny. you're done. Yeah, yeah you'll absolutely. Look, forget it then. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Audition tips from Natalie Gavin. There you go. I love it. I love it. So, I suppose closing out, where, where do you want to go next? Where's the kind of. We talked a little bit about you maybe wanting to delve into writing a little bit down the line, but have you got anything coming up, or is the. Um, I'm doing a play at the moment. Amazing. Um, I'll start in September with Julie Esmond Hall. Wow. Uh, the Playhouse. Lovely. Um, so I'll be doing that till November. Um, do you do, do a nice mix of theatre? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, my love is TV and film, mm. for sure. Um, but when you get in the process of it, man, I buzz off it. Yeah. I do. But it, I think instantly I just go, wow, it's going to be a load of lines and loads of people in one room. And it frightens me a bit. Yeah. But then when you get into the process and you get it nailed, like I buzz, I yeah. buzz off it. Something about, I think from start to finish with theatre, yeah. it goes like, um, day one of rehearsing is completely different to day three. Oh, God, yeah. Then day five is completely different to day three. Man, you've and nailed it, yeah, nailed it. And you just, first week. boom, boom, yeah, boom. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you're like, wow, and it starts coming together, coming together, coming together. Then you have a tech rehearsal and it goes, <laughs> Everybody, yeah. Nobody likes a tech. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes anything about that di that week. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And then press night is kind of shit my pants, here we go. Yeah. And and I always say this and it sounds so cliche, but I feel like you get off stage on a press night and it's like <gasps> I'm back. I'm back I in feel the like room. Press night should be like towards the end of the room. Yeah. That's don't, it. don't get me when I'm <laughs> yeah, still absolutely. like that, yeah. you know what I mean? Try to remember your lines still. Just remember my character's name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then when you, midway, midway, midway is healthy. Yeah. Come see me midway. Like, That's it, yeah, that'd be nice. Press but yeah. wise. But, um, Black Mirror. I'd love to be on a Black Mirror, something like that, man. I, I'm fascinated by that show. It's so good. I, I think I've got about five or six, if anybody's watching, I've got five or six banging ideas for episodes of Black Mirror, but I'm keeping them well close to my chest. Yeah, I, I love it. Like, I love the idea, the whole concept, oh the so different cast, it. different directors. It's just amazing. Yeah, it is. Um, Big fan. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd 
I'd want to aim to do something. Do a black mirror. Yeah, something like that. Yes, mate. I like it. That'd be good, wouldn't it? All day long. Hopefully, hopefully, give it a few years. Yeah. They only do three apps a year now, don't they? Well, a bit like, I remember watching it. I like binged it, so I didn't quite. I didn't um, realise I were going from series to series. Yeah, yeah, because um, the dot. Yeah, that's what I mean. They brought There's the no new one out, and I was like, and then I was like, oh. Over before it started. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. realise they only do three. Yeah. Um, but they're like little movies, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're great. Like little concepts within themselves. Yeah. So great. And they get some right people in them as well. Yeah, they do. Right. Yeah. So I want them to write me in it. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> Please, thank you. No, I don't I don't know. Who knows? I yeah, who knows? Um, but I would. It's definitely something I'd want to work towards, doing something like that. Mm. Amazing. Natalie, I think that's about it. Thank you very much for having me. It's been a lovely chat. Thank you for coming. Thank it's you. really nice to get more people on the sofa. Ruby said as well, like, we've got a lack of actresses. Here's something I want to ask you. Go on. I get funny about saying the word actress now. Don't. I know. You because... Don't. does not offend me one bit. That's what I mean, but, like, I've had it before where people are like, actor. And I'm like, sorry, I just, I don't... I don't know where the line is. Nah. Like, I don't get it. I just, I thought that, yeah... There's no line. They're like actress, yeah, mate. Actor, actress. There's it's the same bag, yeah, in it? Like, yeah, I'm not yeah. trying to put you down from a different word. I don't get it. I nah. don't. But I just wanted to ask somebody, like. Yeah, don't, don't worry. Don't bother me. Yeah, I don't get I, it. Not one bit of my offended by that. Yeah. At all. That's good. I just, I, I've noticed it's more of a thing that's creeping in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? And like, so you I want naturally somebody say. Go- don't call me an actress. Call me an actor. Yeah, but like not not on the sofa. Oh, right. <laughs> no, Sick. not yeah. yeah. That would be bad, Screw wouldn't it? Like, <laughs> and cut. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> but no, I've had it before, like uh, in rehearsal spaces and things like that, or just talking to people, even in pubs and stuff like that. And it's just kind of like, oh, you know, you're an actress as well. I'm an actor. S- same thing in it. Like, yeah. I mean, where do you go from there? Like, how do you feel that that then can be a decent? chat after that yeah, yeah that's you know what I mean like that's a proper yeah it's just a the convo killer yeah it is a bit yeah alright I'm glad we've cleared that up it's been amazing I'm sure we're going to be seeing loads of you on screen and I'll be keeping up with it I think you're amazing Aww, and it's um, it's lovely that you've come down and it'll be nice to do something in the future together definitely yes yes but yeah mate. absolutely Sick. amazing we've got to shake hands now it's a rule thanks very much no worries Johnny, thank it's you been, it's been amazing oh look we're a bit nice <laughs> <laughs> And that's it for another episode of Isaac Chats. If you want to check out more episodes just like this one, head over to www.isaacwho.com. But from me and Natalie, that's about it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>